Hey, the miracle of tongues, number five. Number five was going to be the um, what they say about speaking in tongues, but instead, let's do an interlude of a couple of more testimonies. This one's amazing. Here's a situation where the Holy Spirit is giving gifts to two people interactively so wonderfully. It's just it's, it's amazing. It's really brief. This is Mrs. Laura McDonald, Fresno, California, March 17th, 1972. This is titled, I Never Left You. Somebody Feels Abandoned. I was a, dear Don, I was a homesick newcomer to Fresno, California. So the lady's far away from home. She's in Fresno. She was homesick. She didn't want to be in Fresno. She was sad. She was far away from home. She was not happy. She was a sad girl. She's in Fresno. She sought out a charismatic group and found spirit-baptized Christians from all denominations meeting each Monday at the Full Gospel Tabernacle here in Fresno. One Monday night, the teacher for the evening called for all who had needs to come to the front and stand. Then he asked for all who felt that they were living and walking in the Spirit to come and stand behind the needy ones and minister to them as the Spirit led. Now here is a courageous, wonderful, open facilitator of a gathering. Basically it's like, okay, who among you are really wrecked and hurting and in trouble? Come on forward. Now, who among you feel moved by the Spirit to bless and minister? Who feels powerful and willing to serve and care for others? Great. So now the lady says, I found myself standing behind a young woman. So this lady, Laura, went up to pray for People. She went up behind the ones who said that they were hurting. So she is feeling empowered. She's feeling homesick. She doesn't want to be in Fresno. She's hanging out with people that love Jesus and that are full of the Holy Spirit. And she's doing her work. She's about to pray for somebody. So she says, I found myself standing behind a young woman. I couldn't see her face and she couldn't see mine. I prayed quietly in English first, then the Holy Spirit gave me such a compassion for whatever her need was, I began praying fervently in tongues. Suddenly she lifted her hands and also started praying in tongues. After a time of worshiping together in the surprise language, she turned around and we talked. This is her story. The wounded lady said she had been a Christian and had received the immersion in the Holy Spirit and had even gone to Bible school. But then, for some reason, she had strayed away from God and was trying desperately to get back to him. She felt that she had messed up her life and had sinned so much that God wouldn't take her back. But as I was praying in tongues, she understood what, what I was saying. It was Spanish. So here, the homesick lady is in the fire of the Spirit, and she's speaking in Spanish. She doesn't know it. And that the Lord had said to her, I never left you, you left me, but I want you back. I've never stopped wanting you. 
I never left you, you left me, but I want you back. I've never stopped wanting you. And with that message, her joy came back and she was able to believe and she was able to lift her hands and she was able to pray in the surprise language again. She had been afraid she would never be able to do it again. She told me she was from Puerto Rico. The Lord really blessed me through that experience and I've never felt homesick since. So the homesick lady goes and finds people open to the Holy Spirit. She spends time with them. She ends up serving somebody else and her service brings that somebody else back into their surprise language and all the joy of the Lord and heaven speaks directly to this lady supernaturally to this lady and he says I never left you you left me but I want you back I've never stopped wanting you oh my goodness this is heaven talking through a homesick lady and then she never felt homesick again. That spirit of longing to be somewhere else just went away because she was loving being God's worker. Woo! How do you like that? This is chapter 21 in the book. I never left you. But it's our part five.